Chronic wasting disease was discovered in Wisconsin's deer herd in Dane County in 2002, and since then, it's spread to other areas of the state. Here's the National Wildlife Health Center's CWD project leader, Brian Richards, to tell us about CWD and how we can help reduce its spread. CWD, chronic wasting disease, is a fatal, neurodegenerative, contagious disease of North American members of the deer family. So in Wisconsin, we're talking white-tailed deer and North American elk. Chronic wasting disease is transmitted via uptake of infectious agent. CWD positive animals are shedding that infectious agent or rogue prion protein throughout their bodily fluids, including saliva, urine, and feces. So through close physical contact, including nose to nose contact, it's fairly easy to see how that infectious agent can be picked up by a healthy, naive, susceptible animal. So if you are doing anything, including baiting or feeding, which brings inordinately large numbers of deer into the same space and time, if one of those animals has CWD and is actively shedding that agent out into the environment, we enhance greatly the risk of transmission at those sites. In areas of southwestern Wisconsin, prevalence or the proportion of animals that are CWD positive has risen dramatically. In the north central portion of Iowa County, in excess of 40% of adult males now are infected with chronic wasting disease. So you get into these older age categories, especially of males, and if you harvest a three and a half, four and a half year old buck, literally it's a coin flip as to whether this deer has CWD. A recent scientific study involving CWD was conducted using macaques, a close primate relative of humans. Some of the animals in this study were fed CWD positive venison, the same thing you or I might consume if we don't get our deer tested. And several of these animals did contract chronic wasting disease. To date, there are no known instances where CWD has breached that barrier and caused disease in humans. However, the bulk of the science conducted suggests that there is a small positive chance that CWD could cross over into human hosts. It does not, however, indicate that CWD will transmit into a human disease. Hunters often ask whether they should be concerned and what type of precautions they should take regarding the consumption of CWD positive meat. The World Health Organization has been very consistent since the 1990s and recommends that no portion of any animal with a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, including CWD, enter the human and or animal food chains. The United States Centers for Disease Control also has published guidelines and recommendations out there for hunters. Their recommendations are that if you hunt in an area where CWD is known to exist, that you strongly consider getting your deer tested. And if that deer tests positive for CWD, that you should not consume any portion of that animal. One of the most significant precautions that hunters can take is with regard to carcass management. It's very possible that a hunter from northern Wisconsin could come down and enjoy deer hunting as they always have in north central Iowa County. Very easy to suggest that if they kill that big three and a half, four and a half year old buck that that deer may be carrying CWD. If they take that deer back home to northern Wisconsin, butcher it up the way they always have, and then discard carcass parts, bones, hide, things like that out in the environment, there's a strong potential that action could inadvertently move CWD to northern Wisconsin. We suggest that they take carcass parts to a landfill, make sure those parts end up underground as opposed to out on the ground where they constitute a disease transmission risk. Go hunting this fall. Be safe, have fun, spread the hunting heritage. And if you're hunting where CWD exists, consider having your deer tested and please make sure that carcass does not end up out in the environment. Regardless of where you hunt in Wisconsin, it's a good idea to have your deer tested for CWD. There are collection and sampling stations in the CWD affected areas of southern Wisconsin and elsewhere in the state. You can find a sampling station near you on the DNR website under keywords CWD sampling. Related to CWD monitoring, there are some changes in the baiting and feeding regulations this year. In some counties where baiting and feeding were banned, it's now legal to use bait because no new cases of CWD have been found. County regulations will continue to change as new cases are found. 
or if no new cases are detected within a certain time frame. Check the Deer Hunt Wisconsin Facebook page for updates.